planet Earth 66 million years ago. The final days of the Mesozoic era. The skies are absent of birds, instead being ruled by many flying reptiles, pterosaurs. The dinosaurs instead rule the land. Though looking very different, these strange animals are all part of the same family as our present day birds. Dinosaurs remain fairly absent from the sea, instead being ruled by massive marine reptiles. This Archelon is one of the largest turtles to ever exist, dwarfing even its largest modern relatives, the leatherback sea turtles. Like modern turtles, they are cold-blooded and must come to the shore to bask in the sun, keeping their body regulated. This cold-blooded adaptation allows for the animals to go much longer without food, while also making them more resistant to extreme temperatures. Other marine reptiles, like this elasmosaur, are warm-blooded, however, allowing them to spend all their time in the open ocean, never needing to come ashore to regulate their temperatures. Strangely enough, even the ancestors of modern-day lizards, the mosasaurs, are also endothermic, allowing them to rule the open oceans. Back on land, the day is just beginning for the dinosaurs. Triceratops is one of the most well-adapted dinosaurs of all time. Given the harshness of the ecosystem, these animals have developed a special third eyelid that allows the animal to still appear awake and alert, dissuading any potential predators from taking advantage of the sleeping beast. As the sun rises, the eyelid instinctively retracts, alerting the animal that it is time to wake up. Triceratops are herd animals, traveling in large groups to ensure the safety and survival of the animals. The frills of Triceratops adorn distinct patterns and colors which indicate both the animals' familial and individual identities. The females adorn much more muted colors, while the males are painted with bright displays of color. But Triceratops isn't the only armored herbivore in this forest. An Ankylosaur. Ankylosaurus is covered in bony plates that make it almost impossible for even the most powerful of dinosaurs to take a bite out of this tank. The tail sports a club that can be used to fend off predators or to attract a mate. Unlike Triceratops, Ankylosaurus are solitary and reclusive animals. It could be years before a suitable mate is found. At this point in the Cretaceous, the skies are mostly dominated by Ashtarchid pterosaurs, animals the size of small modern planes, capable of flight and mainly preying on small and weak dinosaurs, most typically juveniles of the various dinosaurs that walk the earth. Powerful predators like this Navajo Draco are crucial to maintaining equilibrium in the prehistoric ecosystem. During the time of the dinosaurs, sauropods make the ground tremble. At over 100 feet in length and weighing 50 tons, these Alamosauruses dwarf all modern terrestrial animals. They often move in herds constantly searching for food that can sustain such large animals. In their wakes follow smaller dinosaurs. These Pachycephalosauruses find safety in the shadows of these giants. The younger individuals of the species adorn large spikes on their heads. The spikier the head, 
the younger the animal. Like many herbivores, safety is created in numbers. One of the youngest members of the herd seems to have wandered off. He is now completely separated from his herd and wandered into the range of this dromaeosaur. Even at such a young age, the Pachycephalosaurus is still capable of using its bony head to defend itself. We often look back on the age of dinosaurs as ruled by large carnivores, with mouths filled with dozens of razor-sharp teeth. Yet, like today, most of the population is made up of herbivorous animals like these Edmontosauruses. The mouths of these animals contain over 1,000 teeth, perfect for grinding up foliage. We often think of Edmontosaurus as easy prey for Tyrannosaurus. But in reality, Edmontosaurus was much larger than most T-Rex specimens. It is theorized that the size of North American herbivores like Edmontosaurus are what influenced the Tyrannosaurus rex to grow to such large sizes as older tyrannosaurs are dwarfed by T-Rex. Edmontosaurus itself, measured to around 40 feet long and weighed an approximate 7 tons. As in all life, even the mightiest of animals inevitably meet their end. The remains of one Alamosaurus have kept this T-Rex couple fed for weeks. As the remains begin to diminish, the predators need to start to consider expanding their territory. As most apex predators are, T-Rex was extremely territorial, with individual territory ranges reaching up to 40 square miles in area. Tyrannosaurus rex had the largest eyeballs of any land animal, with each being about the size of an orange. It is likely that they could see into the ultraviolet range of light, granting them some of the best night vision this planet has ever seen. CT scans of Tyrannosaurus's brain indicate that it had a superb sense of smell, being able to detect prey from several miles away. A keen sense of smell allows for the detection of any rivals or potential threats. This breeding pair is at a much higher risk than usual, with the larger female needing to ingest almost 50% more food than before her pregnancy. The pair's territory will need to expand, With the promise of a second generation, the tempers of these apex predators are at an all-time high. Even the typically invincible sauropods are targets of attacks from the Tyrannosauruses. As the rexes kill more and move in on Alamosaur graveyards, smaller predators start to get bolder and creep in on the Tyrannosaurus territory. The couple will have to defend themselves over the course of the next two weeks, where they will continue to eat, sleep, and mate until a clutch of 12 eggs are laid. After that, the pair will stay together to raise the young until they reach 12 years of age, where they will be cast out from the care of their parents and sent out to find their own place in the world. Companionship is not exclusive to breeding pairs. Beyond the territory of the pregnant couple, another pair of Tyrannosaurus makes itself known. These two males have no familial bond, yet they still travel together. Homosexual couples like this often take up parental roles to eggs that are left orphaned. But for now, 
These two kings simply wander the earth, fulfilled by each other's company. The calls of Tyrannosaurus rex could be heard for over 10 miles away. These vocalizations act as a warning, telling all dinosaurs to stay away. On a very special occasion, all the ankylosauruses within a 20 mile radius return to this swamp. Here is the one opportunity for these animals to show off to potential mates and restart the cycle of life for their species. The colorful skin along their bony armor creates a magnificent display of color, showing off the animal's good genes, while the clubs at the end of their tail shows off their strength and survivability. The breeding grounds aren't the only places in North America popping with color. The great inland sea that flows through the modern-day Midwest comes to life as millions of fish leave the safety of the corals. As the fish come out, so too do their predators. With the sun at its peak, the chilling waters of the early morning can finally be escaped by the cold-blooded Archelon. Temperatures are consistently in the low to mid 20s centigrade, while the waters can reach temperatures of minus 10 on particularly cold nights. As soon as the sun reaches its peak, the turtles take to the nearest landmass, be it a small island or the coastlines of North America. After a quick bask, the turtles can now take swift advantage of the new buffet that lies in the coral reefs. With Archelon moving into the corals, the elasmosaurs quickly retreat back into the open ocean. This Styxosaurus is a nocturnal predator, feeding on bioluminescent ammonites at night and snacking on small reef fish during the day. With the arrival of Archelon in the reef, something far more threatening moves in. As the large reptiles dine on the tropical fish in the reefs, the largest lizards to ever exist move in. Mosasaurs. Mosasaurs can reach lengths of over 60 feet. They are the apex predators of the Cretaceous Oceans. With a bite force rivaling that of Tyrannosaurus rex, these animals are the undisputed rulers of the open oceans in the late Cretaceous. They typically feed on Archelon and are more than willing to take a bite out of the local elasmosaur population. Or, better yet, wandering dinosaurs who venture too close to the coast. As the day winds down, small scavengers come out of the shadows. These troodontids can travel in groups of up to 20 individuals and can clean a hadrosaur carcass in just under an hour. They need to feed quickly, for these remains belong to a much more capable and imposing animal. These truodontids are nothing but a small nuisance 
perfected the might of Tyrannosaurus Rex. A single T-Rex needs to eat 20 kilograms of meat every day. That's the equivalent to one whole cow's worth of beef every two weeks. The Troodontids only need two pounds, and pestering the king of the dinosaurs is never worth the scraps of meat. As most couples do, these Tyrannosauruses eat together, ensuring that they are never left vulnerable to attack from potential rivals. With the day wisping away into night, the dinosaurs begin their nightly routines. The sauropods eat as they always do. Filling their bellies with enough vegetation to keep them sustained long enough to get a full night's rest. The breeding pair of Tyrannosaurus wanders deep into the forest for privacy while they mate. They will spend the night sleeping comfortably next to each other in a secluded part of their territory. The mighty Triceratops shall return to its herd, where he will continue to survive with his remarkable adaptations. The two male T-Rexes will take turns sleeping and keeping watch of one another. Their calls fill the night. They keep each other safe. There is no telling what the future holds. But whatever it is, this pair of Tyrannosauruses will spend the rest of their lives together, facing it head on. <laughs>